believe that a long journey starts with one step at a time. So even if we cannot complete the marathon today or this year, let us start the journey now. And small things we do should make a big difference in the years to come that we expect. Moving forward in our objective and in our efforts without a goal is meaningless. Our intervention has to be ideal. Our commitment has to be real and serious. And everything cannot change tomorrow or within this year. But let us start the process. I think we need to slowly, slowly untangle the knots one by one. And that is what I am here to do along with all of you. Our goal right now, the reason why we have started this exercise, is to increase our pass percentage in the metric systems. I am of a firm belief that it is easier for us or any student to touch from 25 to 40 and maybe even 50 than it is for somebody to touch from 50 to 70 and way difficult to touch from 70 to 90 and almost 90 plus. So if our efforts can be focused on this core area of 25 20, 25, 30 marks, and how to get this group into the 40 marks and 50 mark category. I think we'll be able to achieve our goal in a much more focused way. This is what the same impact of first part is. We have created a book of questions, probable questions that can come in the exam. Now, this question is presented like this in this form. Students will have to practice this again and again and again. So what we're doing is we're structuring the question in a way that it is easier for the student to crack the exam. I am hoping that this CM impact program is be starting. And as we go along, we will change, we will adapt. Maybe what we're doing today is not correct. Fine, next year we will change. We will do something else. But as I said, if we start working then we start moving. So I was told by certain teachers, my class teachers and others who were writing me. They told me, Conrad, practice these 300 questions 300 times. And if you can practice these 500 questions 500 times, you will be in the 90 plus. If you practice these 300 in the 300 times, you will be in the 70 plus. And you do it so many times that it becomes a habit for you. That you see the questions before you even think what you know the answer. Cracking an exam is actually this code. There is a way to train to crack a civil service exam. There is a code and a way to crack the genetic exam. There's a code and you know a way to crack the engineering exams. Similarly, there is a code and a system and a process of cracking the SSLC or the exams.